Hello, this is Dave from MeRC, and I just got this in the mail from RunCam. Let's see what it is. Okay, it's a new Micro Eagle. So if we go to RunCam site, we can see that the Micro Eagle still has the great WDR, and it has six levels now. It also has mirror and flip, which means you can mount the camera upside down if you want, and flip it so that it's right side up and mirror it so that it looks right from left to right. That's a great feature. It also has 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 aspect ratios which are switchable and it has the NTSC format and the PAL format for Europe which is switchable. They have also brought back the low lux value of 0 .001 for low light sensitivity so that is a great feature as well. And the Micro Eagle has the same CMOS sensor specs as a larger Eagle 2 Pro. Hey looky there I like it very pretty. It's got a pretty good size lens on it. You know, compared to some of these other things, like, for example, this. The lens isn't quite as big as the Owl, but it's close. Now here it is alongside its predecessor, the Eagle 2 Pro. And you can see the difference in size. That's just amazing how small it is. So the same size lens, yet a very small form factor. Now if we look on the back we can see two things missing from the Micro Eagle. One is the audio, so there's no audio feed on this plug here and there's also no VBAT. So the Micro Eagle doesn't have the ability to show an OSD with the battery voltage and it doesn't output the audio, so that's something to keep in mind. They both have the same battery voltage, 5 to 36 volts. Let's see if the lens cap from the Eagle 2 Pro fits onto the Micro Eagle. Yeah, it fits nice and snug. So it looks like the lens is the same size, really. Nice. I tell you, this has got to be one of the prettiest menu boards I've ever seen. You even have a sealed back here. There's no etching on the back. There we go. Now it's all together ready to roll. We just need to test it. And we have a few mounting parts here in a bracket. So just like the Eagle 2 Pro, this has a full menu system where you can go through all of the settings. That's pretty good for a small camera like this. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go down into the image, which is at the top there, pressing the center button to get into it go down into WDR. Let's take a look at that. And I think default was 6 and I'm just going to leave it on the default. And then we have image enhance. I'm going to go in there. I'll go into sharpness first. Okay, sharpness. So the default is 6. Now I always like to take the sharpness down a little bit by just down to like 3, 2 or 3. And then on the edge I'm going to take that down to three as well just to take a little bit of the aberration off the small details by lowering the sharpness and the edge okay now I'm gonna return alright just wanted to make those few adjustments before I go out and test it so we're gonna go outside in bright sunlight and see how the Micro Eagle compares to the Eagle 2 Pro and the Swift 2 now the reason I'm using these three for the comparison is I want to compare the Micro Eagle to its bigger brother, the Eagle 2 Pro, just to see if the image is as good as the larger one. But both of these are CMOS, so I wanted to throw a camera in the mix that was a CCD, and that's why I'm using the Swift 2, just to compare the CCD to the CMOS, see if that makes any difference in the image. I didn't see that adjusting the gain did much of anything. I'm going to spring that back up to where it was. I think it was on 6. All right. Now we'll go down to wide, wide dynamic range. Let's see what that does. Uh, oh, yeah, that darkens it up. Okay, so I might go with a wide dynamic range a little bit lower, maybe on 3. That seems to give me a little more sharpness right there. All right, let's commence the test, looking into the sun first. 
Eagle 2 Pro. So the Eagle 2 Pro has the same sensor arrangement as the Micro Eagle. Same size sensor, 800 TV line, same thing. And it has the typical sparkling on the leaves and things like the Eagle series always has. I don't know if they'll ever fix that, but it has a lot of details in the picture and we like that. All right, let's go back over here. We'll do the Micro Eagle. Now you can notice the Micro Eagle is a warmer colors for sure. I've got rid of some of the sparkling by turning down the sharpness and the edge down to three. The details are really good on it. And you can see the picture looks a little soft too because I turned down the sharpness. Overall, the Eagles really perform well with different light handling situations. All right, next test, Swift 2. Okay, so the Swift 2 has definitely a brighter picture and really contrasty. It doesn't have the wide dynamic range, so when it gets towards dusk, the Swift 2 doesn't perform as well as the Eagle series. But it's a CCD, so it's going to have less latency and a good sharp picture. Now here it is a half hour after sunset. It's very dark. It actually looks about like the Swift 2 does to the human eye. The Eagle 2 Pro looks pretty good, but it's kind of bluish. The Micro Eagle does the best job of making it look like daylight with its very low .001 lux. So in summation, the pros for this camera is it has a switchable NTSC and PAL format. It has a switchable 4x3 to 16x9 format for different goggles. It also has mirror and flip so that if you mount it upside down you can still get the picture to look right. It has good low light sensitivity with .001 lux. So if you're looking for a small size that works just as good as the bigger cams, this would be it. Now for the downside, the cons are it doesn't have an audio output so you can't hear the noise of the motors and the props. It also does not have an OSD display to display the battery voltage, timer, and pilot name. So that's it in a nutshell. We'll see you next time.